Okay, I'm doing this video while I'm well, I'm not driving this. I filmed this and then I've just uploaded it onto my computer and now I'm talking. Um, Cyrax, or what a lot of people know as Chance Wilkins, the Goblin. I refer to him as uh, Smeagol. Uh, he is a despicable person. And I've known about him for quite a while, but I never really made any videos about him because I just, you know, I don't usually pick on people's disabilities or what I perceive. I just thought he was, a, you know, guy. <laughs> you just look at him, you know. I mean, even with Chris Chan, I never made a mention of Chris Chan, even though I'd been watching Chris Chan for a long time. I just kept my mouth shut and tell the whole incident with him and his mom but the same with chance i really never did anything until you know i was, I was watching mass hole reports at, at the time um introduced to that channel through um um secular lobster um may he rest in peace but um you know that that was when i first heard about his deviancy i was like why do people pick on this guy you know want to be rock star um rap star artist but i didn't indulge i just watched him other people made videos about him i never i don't think i've ever once actually watched um cyrax from his own channel it's always been somebody else with a clip here and there i don't have time to you know dove into that and watch you know hour-long streams i got more important things i'm running a farm i'm a professional artist unlike uh cyrax cyrax may sell sell some stuff but what he does with his artwork copying other people's artwork that's that's a no-no in the art community you know i do i have some artwork that i've copied from other people but i wouldn't dare sell them i just want to learn their technique and sometimes they put out videos this is how i did this drawing and i'll i'll do it and i'll learn something new about uh how to do something and sometimes I let my wife put the paintings up in her office. But, you know, I'm not going to sell them because you can't do that. You can't. You have to sell original art. <clears throat> now, if someone gives you permission, then that's one thing. And, but, you know, but let's, besides that, how did I first introduce the Cyrex? <clears throat> I can't really remember what video it was. I do remember videos of, of him trying to sing, and I just laughed my ass off. Just like with Chris Chan, I used to laugh my ass off, but I never, you know, put any parody videos out. I don't even know if I'm really a troll. I mean, it all depends on what your definition of a troll is. My wife says I'm a troll, but I think you're a troll if you're contacting the person in real life. And I've never called the cops on anybody. I've never, you know, contacted anybody. Um don't usually dox people unless they dox themselves but um you know those those are troll things doxing people you know calling the cops on people what do they call that uh swatting that's that's troll um making a video or pointing out something about a person isn't now cyrex you know He he's a lot like Von Helton. He both of both Cyrex and Von Helton suffer from low um, IQ levels. Even though Von Helton claims to be 190 IQ, they put him more like 19. <laughs> not not that low. I mean, you know, but he's pretty low. They're both pretty low IQs, and so they can't help that. Cyrex can't help the way he's deformed. I don't make fun of him for his deformity, except for maybe. You know, using the goblin or the uh, golem picks, I guess, Smeagol. But um, you know, more he's more of a character like Smeagol. If you ever, if you're a big uh, J.R. Token fan like my, me, you know, you learn a little in-depth things about Smeagol and the other characters that are in some of other is not is unpublished works or not unpublished but unfinished works. You know that J.R. Token did, and so you know I know a little bit more about the characters than the average person. But 
and that doesn't make me special or anything but um you know here's a place where i buy lima beans up a couple past these trees i discovered it recently as a little farm and they sell stuff but anyway um back to cyrex he uh you know he he does some deviant things he's always threatening people he's threatening to kill people he's gonna kick people's ass you can just look at him you know he couldn't kick anybody's ass he doesn't have any upper arm strength you know you gotta put your shoulders into a punch you don't have no shoulders to do that with apparently <laughs> he was an easy birth with the skinny shoulders like that I bet he just plumped out. Doctor said he's crowning. Whoop, he's born. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing stopping him from coming out when he was born, I guess. Anyway, um, that's that's you know that's kind of making fun of his thing. But now that he's you know what he is, I, I feel I don't feel shame for um, for doing that. And here's coming up that place where I buy produce from. They sell watermelons. Peas, uh, sweet potatoes right here. I didn't even know what this was for the longest time. Uh, it's, they got a bunch of freezers there and, you know, pretty cool. So, um, back to Cyrax again. So, um, you know, he, he wants to whine and cry because of his court case coming up. He's scared. He's been informed. I looked up the uh, Ohio laws on assault. And, you know, you do jail time. For, he's got to get at least a misdemeanor assault. Now, well, whether they'll give him jail time or not, uh, I'm, I would, if I had to bet on it, I don't think he's going to get it because of what he is. You know, mildly retarded. They don't use that word anymore, but I don't know, mildly uh low iq <laughs> i don't know what word you use i don't i don't keep up with the politically correct terms I just when i was a kid the word mentally retard meant you know you were but now that that's an insult name now it's uh developmentally disabled so he's mildly developmentally disabled i don't know he seems to have a good vocabulary so that makes me think that's not true i think he's aware of what he does I think he's aware of what he says, although he's so stupid, he thinks people are going to believe his threats, you know, and the whole gunshot. There's got to be a hole through the wall or the window broken out. If there's not that, there's no bullet. Bullets don't, you know, travel on, what do they call those, um, type of neuron. Um, uh, they can pass through matter. Um, they come out of the sun, creates a lot of them. Uh, golly, I can't remember them. They're a microscopic particle that can go through things. And b bullets aren't made of that material. So a bullet didn't go through the wall and then didn't make any holes in the wall, but made a hole in his, you know, probably a hole that the rats chewed through or the mice that set the mouse trap. So he's, you know, he calls the police. He's Sally must not be very bright either because she, she's the one that put the mousetrap there and then she's like, oh, they shot at him. Yeah, they didn't. So anyway, we all know that's not true and he knows it's not true. He's smart enough to know that's not true. He never got shot at. So he got a mousetrap and he found the hole that the mouse chewed through his blanket or his, uh, his bed. Probably got a nest of them. There's probably like, you know, a whole family of mice living in, inside his mattress. That's how nasty he is. But, um, you know, the guy sent a dick pic to what he thought was a 14-year-old girl, which turned out to be Kate from Masshole Reports. But he also admitted at that time that he'd done it to other young girls. So... You know, even though he sent one to a fictitious little girl, he also sent one to real little girls. Imagine if your daughter was hanging around online and Cyrax was talking. Cyrax sends a dick pic or a picture of him masturbating, a video of him. I don't want to ever, I've never seen the dick pic and I don't want to ever see. I don't want to see his 
I don't see any big guys. I was a medic in the military, so I've seen plenty of them. But, you know, I don't want to see someone's penis. Especially if it's erect. There ain't no way I want to see that. But, um, and I don't think a normal woman wants to just see that. It's like, you know, that's an intimate thing when you get to starting a relationship and starting to love someone. You get to that level of your relationship where you're having sex. It's not, here's my penis. You haven't even developed a relationship or a rapport with that person. I would, I've never and would never send a penis pic to anybody. Not even to my wife. I mean, I don't understand that at all. I know Craigslist used to be full of them in the relationship thing. So bad that Craigslist took that off of their site. They no longer have that uh, option on Craigslist to meet people because weirdos like Cyrex putting their penis up. Craigslist is still around. You know Cyrex's penis would be on there. So, you know, there's that. Um, I, I don't know why else, you know. But... That's really how I met him. That's how I got started. There was somebody as well. You must be new to um, Cyrax. Brand new, he said. No, it's that I don't watch Cyrax 24-7. Okay? I've got other things I do. Now, some people got work and there's bored time of work. And they might watch Cyrax videos. And, you know, and they're they're young. And they're, they're still in school. So they're watching Cyrax. Whatever. You know, college. <laughs> Maybe you don't have big class load that semester, so you watch a bunch of Cyrex. I don't have that time or luxury to watch Cyrex 24-7. Now, I got animals I'm taking care of. You know how many animals I have? I don't even know. I got 12, oh, probably up to 24 chickens and uh, 10 turkeys and 20 rabbits. And um, one dog and two cats. And I got a big yard I got to maintain. And I got dinners. I got, I'm the one who cooks dinner mostly in the house. We got opposite roles in our house, I guess. You know, my wife kills the animals and I clean them. And then we're, we're having chicken tonight. Of a, of a, of, we're having, I'm cooking chicken noodle soup from a chicken yesterday that we called. Cold is just a nice way to say killed, but that's my life. You know, I live out here in the sticks, and I want to live out here by choice. This is the lifestyle I chose. It's the lifestyle I worked my life to achieve. It may not be what other people like. Cyrex, his whole goals and achieving in life is all based in the cyber world. Well, the cyber world ain't real. He's a race car driver. In the cyber world. That's not real. Basically his whole music career is in the cyber world. And isn't real. Even though he puts out music. Where he just plagiarizes other songwriters. He doesn't. He, there's no originality. Which I find with a lot of these Lowell's cows. There's no originality in him. They're always plagiarizing or stealing somebody else's idea. Um, somebody's um, creative uh you know, I don't remember the word for it, but anyway, that, anyway, um, <clears throat> that's all I got to say. Cyrex is looking at possible t some trouble and he's scared and he's just, he's, it's a, it's a perfect storm of lulls, if you ask me. And I'm enjoying it and um, he deserves everything he's going to get. He deserves jail time, but I don't think he'll get it. I don't think he can handle it. And uh, that's my piece. I'm out.